Well, as people start to take down all their Christmas decorations, the stockings, the tinsel, all that stuff, there is a program in the city of Tucson that will at least take your tree off your hands. Nine on your side, Tina Giuliano is live at one of the places where you can drop off that tree. Good morning, Tina. Good morning. Yeah, we're here at Golf Link Sports Park where behind me trees are just stacked up. People have already started to donate their trees because the city of Tucson's tree cycle program is up and running so you can donate at any of the locations across Tucson and Oro Valley. The program goes through January 17th and people can uh, donate their trees without any of the decorations still on it. So remove the lights, the ornaments and the city of Tucson's Christina Paulsgrove says this program is not only helpful for the city, but for the environment as the trees are ground up and turned into the city's compost. You know, because they are completely biodegradable, they're going to go back into the environment as compost, which will be used in public parks and, and other open spaces. She says the trees help absorb CO2 levels, saves water, reduces methane emissions. The compost will be at the Los Realos Sustainability Campus as the city aims to be a zero waste city by 2050. So for a complete list of the drop off locations, head to our website, kgun9.com. Tina Giuliano, Kega 9 on your side. <laughs> In our Two Americas series, we are looking at food insecurity right here in Tucson. Many rely on food banks and soup kitchens to get their next meal. We spoke to one family that has to decide between putting gas in their car or food on the table. Sometimes you have to do it in order for your kids just to eat something simple as a sandwich, you know, something simple as a soup. Mm. But I did it because of my kids, not myself, because I love my family. His organization, Casa Maria. We'll hear more from the Sandoval family and how they're getting help from local resources tonight on Kega 9. Uh, rem a reminder today is your last day in 2021 to get food assistance from the Community Food Bank of Southern Arizona. Now, the food bank will be closed starting tomorrow through January 2nd. But keep in mind, there are other food pantries in the area that will still be available to help out. Here is uh, actually there's some of those alternatives at the bottom of your screen. But for a complete list, you can go to our website, kega9.com.